Here we are getting a full starboard view on this 1989 San Tropez. She's a 32 footer, well powered with twin Merc Cruiser 454 freshwater cooled engines. And this gives us a full on port side view <coughs> from here. We'll do a walk around on this San Tropez. Some things in life are just, well, have been sent. For example, this 1989 3200 Saint Tropez by Wellcraft. She's offered for sale at a very good price, well powered with twin Merc Cruiser 454 V drive, freshwater cooled, but have had a lot of recent work done on her. Some of the features, besides being value priced, she's got a windless, large four deck wide open cockpit room to party all day and night on it because down below she's got an island bed pull out sofa and a true booth that'll actually see four people in comfort and that becomes a sleeping area she's big bold beautiful nice black canvas all around good coloring viewer today here at south mountain yachts bow on this 1989 San Tropez. We see we have that extended bow pulpit with the windlass right there. If you notice, we've got an oversized foredeck here. Great place, get a pad made and lay out. Coming down along the side, we see we've got these large windows right here that open and allow air and ventilation into the cabin. We have a full camper back enclosure here and the Isinglass facing forward and on the sides is easily removable. We've got our dual horns right here. Let's pull up that badge right there. This vintage was all about adding some chrome and lines on the boat and it shows it. Coming down along the side of Heaven Scent, we see here at the transom, we've got a molded in platform right there. Dinghy davit hookup, there's our boarding ladder and shower right there. Coming down along the port side, This gives us yet another view on this well-craft San Tropez. And if you negotiate right, we'll even include this dinghy right here. From here, let's go aboard. And we're gonna board, which is nice and easy. We have her backed in. We can step on this molded in swim platform right here. We see we've got our dinghy davit hookups right there boarding ladder and the hot and cold shower off in the corner. We enter the vessel through the center line door and step on up. This cockpit is extremely large for about this size. It's full beam. To port we have a custom table with seats that are removable along the aft transom right there. We have bench seats which have storage up underneath. Now at some point in time you can make a filler cushion and have a full transom bench seat. Circling around, note in the corners we have steps to access the back. Our port seat, our, our helm seat right here is double wide with storage up underneath. We do have a raised helm and a footrest right there. Here at the helm, we have our stainless steel ship's wheel right there. And then
Here's our line of sight. We have our compass, port and starboard engine operation gauges. In the center, we have our tachometers and our engine sink are right there. As we pull back, the light's a little challenging here, but we see we've got a standard horizon GPS chart plotter, a little dated but functional, and a big plus here is these Bennett trim tab level indicators. It always helps us to know our angle of degree to level off the boat. Below, we've got that VHF radio, Morris, shift, and throttles. Circling around to port, there's another view of the table. And then engine access is through those center hatches right there. They do come up, and all three of them can be pulled up to access all around the engine. Here's a view through the Isenglass. The forward section's grazed, but easily replaceable. We enter the cabin through this sliding acrylic opaque door and down a few steps. One of the first things we notice is just how big this interior is. You would have to buy a 38-foot boat to get this much room on the interior. Immediately to starboard, we have our galley. Drawer storage below along with the refrigerator. Cabinets up above, we have our microwave, stainless steel sink, dual burner alcohol electric stove. Notice how bright the cabin is We've got our windows with curtains right there for light and air. This gives us a view of the booth style dinette. You can easily fit four in there and the table can be lowered for yet another sleeping area. Just use the seat backs. And again, storage below. Now as we circle forward, we have our privacy curtain. This is an awesome feature right here. It's an oversized island bed with steps to make access from either side easy. Nobody's crawling over each other, which makes it that much more comfortable and it's easy to make. Over here, we've got some shelves and a hanging locker, gunnel storage, there's another hatch, mirrored locker, and then as we circle to port, we have a sofa which actually opens up and becomes yet a sleep, another sleeping area. Our power panel is here. You can't see much black on black, it's a challenge. And then make note we have the original inboard owner's manual our stereos here sorry folks no tv but with the scenery who needs a tv lastly we have a head here which is good size partially lined fiberglass vacuum flush head storage up above pull out shower right there. Heaven Scent is of another generation. She's big, she's bold, she's very well powered with twin Merc Cruiser 7.4 454 engines that are freshwater cooled, V drives, the owners tells me it's been uh, valve jobs, rods, bearings, and a lot of work done, risers and manifolds on them, so she's good for more years. 
viewer today owner tomorrow this is Lou in Newport Beach California signing off happy days on the water